Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on the offensive side of the ball looking at the Minnesota Vikings playbook in single back stretch here and we're going to start off with the half back stretch. We'll match just with nickel here. Of course, I don't, I'm not prepared for the video. We'll back the ball up now. So we started off with the run game. We're going to have the stretch. We're going to have the inside zone and then you're going to absolutely notice from the beginning here the stretch goes off to the left. The halfback weak zone is going to go off to the right and of course we don't have a symmetrical formation so we can't just uh, we can't just flip the formation, you know, and your opponent not know. Everybody would have to run to the other side of the field, right? And, of course, you know, giving away butt pats and stuff like that if you're flipping the run and stuff like that. So that's going to give it away. So we're going to try to just have them in the audibles, and then your opponent would have no way of knowing, you know, whether you're audible to a pass, uh, you know, the zone weak, the stretch, these, the, the wide receiver option that we're going to go over, all these plays. So... And we talk about it in all these videos. We want to have a run right, run left. We want to be able to get to where the defense is the lightest on the line of scrimmage, right? So, we're, I mean, hey, they're going to give you this all outside, give you a one-on-one. -on -one, and that was that was some weird stick skill. But, hey, we pick up a huge run. Hopefully, you're better with the sticks than I am. And, you'll be, you know, you'll break off bigger runs than that. Again, they're going to give you this whole left side of the field. Really no one out there. 72, get up to that second level for me. Hawk, Hawk, lead the way. And there you go. You know what I mean? You're breaking a big run. You just got to be, be able to pick. You know, you want to, run, you want to want to run inside, you want to run outside. And, of course, the zone weak is, you know, a very versatile run. You can kind of cut this inside, cut it outside. Of course, you don't hold the spread button. You get through the line of scrimmage. That's a big run. But you can cut it inside, cut it outside here. Of course, you know, they only have one down lineman. So, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll take it inside. We'll cut it up inside. You know, we'll hit a big play that way. You can always put your foot in the ground if they if they give you that right edge. Typically, you're not going to get that right edge because you have this trips to the right side of the field. But, you know, if, if they would happen to, you know, send a blitz off that side, and you can somehow get out, get out, you know, get out to the outside. You can really be able to do that. Cut up field, get up field, have inside run, outside run, 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 run right, run left. That's pretty much the gist of the run game. It's pretty much the same in every single scheme. You just want to have the run options to be able to get where the defense is light. And, you know, very simple, very simple on the run game portion. But for the passing, and I guess my controller just disconnected for some reason right there. So the passing portion of this is going to be very simple as well. We're going to have three pass plays for you. We're going to do a lot of the same things, work the sidelines a ton in this, because trips is just very tough to cover on these corner routes and stuff like that. And, of course, we're going to have our number one guy, uh, Justin Jefferson, and, you know, on your mutt team, whatever, that's going to be your number one guy. But we'll start off with the short game, wide receiver option, and let's just talk about Justin Jefferson right out, right out of the way. Justin, Justin Jefferson and TJ Hawkinson are two guys on any of these plays here. I mean, of course, Justin Jefferson's going to be running, you know, corner routes and stuff like that. That you're going to want to, you're going to want to try to dial up for. But you're going to be able to streak these guys at any point. This is a perfect example. We see two high safeties. We see a middle field, middle field open. You know, Justin Jefferson's on that little bit of a, you know, wiggle route there. So maybe you streak Hawkinson. And then you block up Madison there. You block up your running back. Still get a six-man protection. You get a quick, you know, if they send heat, they send, you know, pressure. They send a blitz. You have a quick hot route with uh, Osborne over there. You know, the he breaks off against man. Does a really nice job. Of course, if you do get that zone look, like, okay, let's just run this here. Yeah, they're going to part like the Red Sea. They rotate into, like, some kind of, like, a cover three. Got a possession, catch that, and, you know, hold on to it. But we're able to attack every single part of the defense. Again, I mean, it looks like kind of like man coverage over here, maybe. So let's go on ahead, run that again. Well, you know, let's just, let's actually just know max protect. We'll run a seven man protection. Well, if I can get to my guys here, let's just max protect, right? Seven man protection. Let's just let Osborne do his thing out there. We think it's man coverage. We have Addison on the streak, Justin Jefferson, you know, on, on sort of that little bit of a wiggle route over there. And boom, it it is not man. Okay, not great, not great. We did, we did have Justin Jefferson. My eyes were locked in on Y. Let's, let's just kind of show you what it, it was. Justin Jefferson was wide open here. Get into that slot area very wide open if you do hit him on that break right here you know right where he's breaking outside you can get a lot of the free yards sometimes a lot of the times you know maybe maybe you don't run this every single time of course you don't want you don't want to put this route on there every single time you run this play so maybe you catch the user off guard where he cuts outside and then cuts back in you know whatever the case but if your computer is covering him against like man and stuff like that you are able to hit that that little that little route there of course you can just leave the hawkinson route as well and make it makes it like a high low read over the middle of the field and my controller keeps disconnecting for some reason i guess that's a new new feature but yeah you're going to be able to create a high low read with hawk and and just jet is over the middle of the field like i said osborne still your your little quick read i mean he's going to get over the middle of the field no that's fine justin jefferson if you're able to hold on to that you get that six man protection you're going to be able to click on come back to the ball against man two there it looked like he may have been on a safety here we'll kind of show you again let's just block it up we'll kind of streak hawkinson try to get him to that rough that you know soft spot in the field looks like we're going to get maybe a man blitz here hopefully we can Boom, hit Osborne out there. Should have been a little bit more in time. Should have expected man. But boom, you hit that hit that, hit that outside guy. And that's going to be easy yards. I really, really like that. Especially whenever you're on the left hash. And of course, I do have it flipped because I'm running Kirk Cousins. I'm running a right-handed quarterback. But if you're on the right hash, you know, you want to be able to have the trips to the left side of the field. Have the trips to the wide side of the field. So 
just like as an example, like we would want to be running this trips with the hash with the ball in the hash to the left side here, right? So and then vice versa, if the hash if the ball's on the right hash, we will still want to be able to operate, you know, with the trips to the left side of the field. But for this video here, we'll keep it simple and you know, let's just go over these plays as is on on one side of the field. Wide receiver option though, very nice play. Of course, I mean if you have Hot Route Master being able to put Justin Justin Jefferson and Hawkinson on on crossers. Always an absolutely amazing thing to do. Anytime you can put guys on two deep crossers going across the middle of the field against cover threes, against cover ones, those one high safety looks, it's going to eat. It's going to be beautiful. But very, very nice. You have the quick option with Osborne, uh, a little bit more developing routes with, you know, Justin Jefferson and even Hawkinson if you go that route. But let's go on ahead and move on here to double double corner. And this is really double China in. I'm not really sure. This, this, is, this is double China right here. So two in routes over here. I have a fly flying around. My controller's disconnecting. This is a crazy video for sure. Double corner in though. We have two in routes with um, Osborne and, and, and Addison over there. Of course, we're going to try to free up Justin Jefferson. You can absolutely leave this stock. Maybe you throw Hawkinson on... Of course, you'd, a, a crosser would be beautiful here if you have Hot Route Master. But putting him on a streak, putting him on an in route, putting him on you know a block and release cross, I guess, for this type of concept here. And boom, you know what we're trying to do. Of course, Jeff, Justin Jefferson is going to eat against man. But you know what we're trying to do. We're, 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 it's basically run it the same way as Sale. We're, we're using these shorter in routes to sort of drop those zones, hit Justin Jefferson over the top. Of course, another way to run this here, you already know it's happening. We can streak either one of these guys, Osborne, or Addison. Here we'll streak Addison on the outside, kind of give more of that, you know, sort of carry that outside guy down the field. Same deal though, Osborne, we will still want to pull down the zones. Addison really carry those zones down the field, and then Justin Jefferson sort of, you know, slipping in the middle of that, kind of put him in conflict. We do have a seven man protection here, so we are really trying to dial this up for Justin Jefferson. Pulls the guys down the field, going to be wide open. There you see the clearing route use, working perfectly right there, really just clearing enough for Justin Jefferson to you know, just have enough time, just have enough space to to uh, catch the ball here. Here you see uh, Addison just carry 31 down the field just enough, carry that window open. Could have been a little bit better throw more on time. Of course, there's a lot of green grass over there. You can see all these guys sort of just, you know, maintained here with Osborne. Like, boom, this guy's maintained with Osborne. He can't get depth. This linebacker here is, you know, obviously maintained with Justin Jefferson. Sort of comes down and is in no man's land to play. Of course, that's that's Hightower, you know, not the greatest zone defender. But he's in no man's land, not playing the not replaying Jeff Jefferson, not playing Osborne. Really in a tough spot there. You can imagine a user being, you know, in a really tough spot. Maybe just even going after the corner very quickly. Another little setup you can do to this here is just dragging Osborne, sort of clearing him out, and then Addison's going to come in behind him, still dialing up that Justin Jefferson route. Of course, you still have, you always have that hot run, you know, against those drags, against, you know, man coverages, you know, deeper zone coverages, whatnot. But I really do like to do that as well, sort of, like I said, clearing Osborne out. Boom, boom, they blitz, that's fine. We'll pass lead it up the field. Kirk, I need you to have a throwing ability for me, and I might be able to fit that in there. But really versatile play, able to go down the field, able to have short stuff, able to dial up sail, you know, whatever it is you want out of this, really, really nice. And you get to run the corner route from the slot with your number, number one receiver, so that's pretty decent. With a seven-man protection, love that. Last one here, though, is PA Flood, and you do get a little bit of a shift on this. We'll kind of just show you real quick. You see the guys go real quick, so maybe you come out in this play if you're going to, you know, you're going you know, to call this play. And I do want to include it here just because it's really nice. You have the two streaks, and, and they're not... They're not um, they're not streaks that you can put on the field, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Osborne is on that little bit of a diagonal, not diagonal, but, you know, he kind of works towards the middle of the field a little bit. You have Madison going on the flat route. Justin, Justin Jefferson is your, you know, the, the guy you're trying to hit. Still get a six-man protection with TJ Hawkinson. You know, just a really nice play. You're able to pick it up. There you get man. Of course, Jefferson's going to, you know, torch whoever he's against. But just really, really nice as a way to, you know, try to dial the ball to Justin Jefferson. Again, dial the ball to your favorite receiver. Of course, you know, you, like I said, you get that little shift. But they are able to get into a little bit better spot as well. Yeah, I mean, Jefferson Justin, <laughs> Jefferson's going to make us look good against man. But that route does do well against man as well. Just not God-tier receivers. It, it's going to beat man's, uh, I don't want to say every time, but a lot of the times. And of course, like of course, I mean, I would love to get, I would love to get uh, a zone coverage to show you where this K, this KJ Osborne route kind of gets to, but we're not, they're not going to give it to us here. We'll kind of block up our running back here and just, you know, send these guys deep. They're not going to give us zone coverage because uh, I, I don't know why. I guess because they just want to run man 15 times in a row. But here, I mean, we're going to get, we're going to, it's going to be man coverage again. It's going to be cover zero yet again, so we'll run the ball. And we're going to get one example of KJ Osborne getting to this tender spot against zone. Here we get a cover three look. This is not even close to being realistic. We're just going to block up our running back, get that seven-man protection. 
obviously this is not realistic at all you're going to always have a slot defender to the trip side if you ever see this run this play get kj osborne to the slot and throw the ball to him if you ever get that look that's 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 picture perfect but you're not going to get that in the game obviously we want to see you know the purple zone go to the outside and kj osborne, osborne that you know uh, seam defender get through the seam catch the ball against cover three against cover ones against those one high safeties and the shift does kind of bring him inside just enough to sort of work him against those cover two looks like here you kind of get those two high safety looks we'll, we'll just block up the running back see if we can't get cover two here they actually rotate down into like a cover one look. Kirk is going to float the ball out there. I'm done using Kirk Cousins. That's the end of the video. That's the, pretty much the scheme. That's the end of the video. End of the scheme. Super simple. Able to hit big plays. It's all there. Uh, hopefully you can, you know, operate both ways on the hash. Left hash, right hash, whatnot. Be able to hit the corner route, you know, from the left, from the right, obviously. Being able to make it the most versatile scheme you can. But you have short options. You know, you have quick options for blitzes and stuff like that. You're dialing up concepts that are very tough for the user to stop. You have stuff over the middle. You know, if you run the double corner, you know, with the drag or the two ends, you have that working over the middle. PA flood really works the outside, you know, really shrinks the formation a little bit, able to work the outside. Wide receiver option, able to do a lot of different stuff. And then the run game is pretty good out of it. You still have a tight end on the field, so you do want to be able to run the ball at least a little bit. But that is pretty much, like I said, the end of the scene, guys. Go ahead and check out the rest of the channel. We have offense. We have defense. A little bit of everything. Trying to work on some new content, of course you know trying to keep keep the mini schemes but you know di di diversify a little bit on the channel and whatnot so appreciate you guys liking commenting all that good stuff and i think that's all i really need to get into in this video and yeah with that i hope to catch you guys in the next one